Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at another question from GATE 2002 examination. This is a two mark question, so let's have a look at the question. Here in this question, they are saying G is given to be some group which is having order 30, right? The order of group 30, uh, group G is 30. Right, A and B are given to be normal subgroups uh, where the order of A is given to be 2 and the order of B is given to be 5. Then they are asking what would be the order of the question group of G which is constructed from this uh, group AB. Right, so this is the question. So let's have a look at the solution here. For the solution, because we are given the order of G as 30, the order of A, which is the normal subgroup of G as 2, and the order of B, which is the normal subgroup of G as 5, right? Now you see this number 2 and this number 5, they are relatively prime to each other, right? Their GCD is equal to 1, right? So therefore, if we take their intersection, their intersection would only contain one element, which is the identity element. Why this is so? Because if we have some group G and and H and K are any two subgroups of this group such that the order of H is N and the order of K is M and their GCD is equal to 1. So that means the GCD of the orders of these subgroups is uh, relatively uh, is 1 and that means the orders are relatively prime to each other then their intersection would only contain the identity element. This is the result and we if one is interested I can also tell you the proof if G is some element in this intersection so it, that means it would be present in both the elements so by the Lagrange's theorem the order of this element would divide the order of uh, the group H which is N and uh, the order of G would divide the order of this uh, group K that is M so beca now because they do not have anything in common their GCD is 1 so therefore the order of G should be 1 because it divides N it also divides M and both of them they are relatively prime to each other so that means G can only be the number 1 so that means G raised to power 1 is equal to identity the order of G is uh, 1 so G raised to power 1 is identity so that means G is nothing but the identity element hence the intersection contains only one element which is the identity element so this this is the result. So now if the order of these two subgroups A and B is 2 and 5 which are relatively prime to each other so that means their intersection would contain only one element which is the identity element thus their order is uh, the order of the intersection is equal to 1. Right, and moreover, we also know about this result that for any finite subgroups H and K of a group, we can construct a group of this kind HK where the first element H small h is taken from the first group, the element small k has been taken from the second group, right? So what would be the order of this HK? The order of this HK would be the order of H into the order of K divided by the order of H intersection K. Now the order of in our case, the first group is given to be A, its order is given to be 2 to us, right? The second group is B, its order is given to be 5, right? So, and uh, we have just calculated this order to be 1. So, that means th this order of AB comes out to be 10. Now, you might be thinking why we are calculating the order of this AB. It is because we wanted to calculate the order of this quotient group. So, this quotient group involves the order of this AB. Let's see how. We also have a result which says that if n is normal subgroup of G, right, then the order of G, uh, this quotient group G by n would be equal to the order of G divided by the order of n. Now, in our case, we have the order of G with us, which is 30, which is given to us. What about the order of AB? The order of AB is, we, we have just calculated this to be 10, so it is 10. But before that, we must be sure that this uh, group AB is a normal subgroup. Now, because A and B, they are given to be normal, so their product is also normal subgroup in G. Hence, we may apply this result here and hence this order comes out to be 3. And this is our answer here. Right, so that means option B is the correct option. So I hope you understood the answer to this question well. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.